Whatever your reason is for considering a keychain knife, whether it's the need for weight savings or simply wanting to stay more incognito than carrying their full-size counterparts, keychain knives can offer just as much utility and an ultra-compact form factor if you choose the correct one. There is a laundry list of capable keychain knives available, but of course we have our favorites and as such we wanted to compile a thorough list of what we consider to be the best keychain knives currently available on the market. So with that, let's jump right in with our first pick from SOG. We're going to start out with a keychain knife from SOG, or the Studies and Observations group that's a bit tongue-in-cheek, because hey, it's an actual key. But we wouldn't at all call it a gimmick, because the construction is dialed, the key, the case for the actual knife, is made of full stainless steel, and it can live among your keys in a way that's uber discreet. If you're looking for a keychain knife for discretionary purposes, this is unequivocally your best bet, which is why we give it our best incognito keychain knife title. While we do appreciate its incognito form factor, in reality its use case will be limited with a 1.5 inch 5CR13 MOV blade as there's no great way to firmly hold a house key in a way that provides enough leverage for heavy duty tasks. But hey, that's largely going to hold true for a lot of the keychain knives that we review. We love the lockback system built into the base of the knife here, which keeps the blade secured when not in use. I mean, no one would want a keychain knife deploying when on your person and potentially ripping through some clothing, or worse, so this system feels perfect for this form factor. Plus it keeps the profile incredibly thin and lightweight at just 0.7 ounces, or roughly the weight of two standard house keys. And while yes, a keychain knife's utility in general will be inherently limited due to its size, we observed that the machining of the key's ridges provided some really helpful grip that feels as though it offsets the size and increases its overall utility. Other than the all blacked out stainless steel version that we have here, SOG also provides a brass option that looks even more traditional if you're really trying to keep the key knife as under the radar as possible. With a design by popular knife maker Rick Hinderer of Rick Hinderer Knives, the Kershaw Cinder offers up more than just a blade, so you could almost think of this as a pseudo keychain multi-tool. As it offers up more than just a blade, a $10 total price point, and a design coming from an industry legend, we've solidified it as our pick for the best value keychain knife. The cinder looks far more true to form than the key knife from SOG with an almost tactical design that definitely aligns with the Hinderer MO. At one end, Kershaw builds in a bottle opener and on the other, the 1.4 inch 3CR13 stonewash stainless steel blade with a thumb stud held tightly with the liner lock that rests within the black textured GFN scales. The cinder is pretty lightweight at 0.9 ounces considering the quality of the build which felt really solid in hand. For context, that's about the weight of three standard house keys. Under the bottle opener, the cinder uses a lanyard hole punch out that could just as easily double as a spot to thread a ring so that the cinder could easily live among your keys. As a last note, although Hinderer himself was behind this design and does manufacture his own in-house creation stateside, Kershaw does not manufacture the cinder in the states, and as such the blade does have a china stamp at the base. 1890 saw Openel officially open its doors for business in Savoie, France, offering the Openel No. 8. Since then, Openel has continued to keep their designs and manufacturing all in-house in France to construct the incredibly simple knives that they create, and the core designs haven't changed since their first iteration. Simplicity is really the hallmark behind the Openel brand, so we wanted to highlight one of their compact designs that functions as an excellent keychain knife, the Openel No. 4. The number four is really just the full sized size down with the same iconic wooden handle, blade, and metal hardware in between holding the blade in place within the handle. Because of its compact form factor, the number four and all models from the number two up to the number five don't include Openel's own Vero Block safety rotating locking mechanism, so we'd recommend handling it with care when the blade is deployed. And speaking of the blade, the number four uses a two inch Inox stainless steel blade. Now, looking at the number 4 doesn't instill a ton of confidence in its ability to withstand a fair amount of abuse. But the thing with keychain knives, open L or not, is that they shouldn't really be substitutes for full size knives. The blade on the number 4 doesn't run through the length of the handle, so while it is useful for small tasks, just as all of our keychain knife suggestions will be, again, not substitutes for tasks that require a high degree of force. The number 4 also comes in a slew of wooden handle colorways. Ours here is the khaki version for reference. Also, before we move on, we just want to reiterate that there is absolutely no locking mechanism on the pseudo slip joint, and it's very, very easy to accidentally shut the blade on a finger, so be really careful. Gerber is no stranger to knives, but they don't only manufacture full-size EDC blades, but keychain units as well. 
One of our favorite ultra compact keychain knives from the outdoor oriented brand is the Gerber GDC Zip Blade. The blade's use case is pretty straightforward and versatile. I mean, you could use it for pretty much any small task you need. Box cutting, letter opening, the list is endless. But what's not so apparent without showing you how it works is the zip pull integration. In other words, the Gerber GDC is itself a zip pull. Check it out. On the opposite end of the 0.68 inch plain edge blade is a loop to attach this guy onto a zipper, and it could be any zipper as well. Backpack, sling, jacket, again, the list is endless. At the base of this loop is a quick release clip, so the GDC doesn't have to live on the zipper while it's in use, which would obviously limit its utility. Plus, you're probably going to want to mitigate as much as possible removing and reinstalling this unit onto a zipper, because we don't have a ton of confidence that this line at the end will stay in good condition forever. And once it's gone, it would be nearly impossible to use this as a zip pull ever again. That is, without replacing the entire unit. For the current $15 price point, the frame lock on this guy is a nice touch, and it adds in keeping the GDC quite compact. It's also notably aggressive with a really deep angle, and it feels really strong for its size. The grey and green styling also matches Gerber's other GDC or Gerber Daily Carry products like the Money Clip, which similarly features a compact knife in the form of a small fixed blade. Victorinox has amassed quite the catalogue of knives, fueled by new material innovations and to meet the demands of new, modern users. However, the classic SD line has persisted through and through, and you can't really get any more traditional than this classic Swiss Army keychain knife, or you could just as easily classify it as a keychain multi-tool. At just 2.3 inches, the classic SD provides 7 total tools sandwiched between the iconic bright red Celador scales. Those tools being a toothpick, scissors, tweezers, nail file, a 2.5mm screwdriver, a key ring, and of course a small straight edge blade that measures up to roughly 1.5 inches. With a simple ring, the classic SD hangs right between your keys and the 0.7 ounce weight is roughly the same as adding two more keys in terms of weight. Although the classic SD is, well, a classic and is widely well regarded, we did notice something interesting when we secured it to a ring of keys. The attachment point for doing so happens to be on the same side as where the knife deploys, so using it while attached to a ring of keys becomes cumbersome compared to our other picks. You can kind of work around this by altering your grip, but we thought it was an interesting observation that would be helpful to know if you intend to use this on a keychain. So our next pick is almost comical, but if it were all laughs and if it was made by anyone other than Spyderco, we probably wouldn't have included it in this guide. So our best iconic keychain knife pick goes to the Spyderco Bug Mini Keychain Knife. Now a touch of irony here, but there should be a big emphasis on the mini delineation in the name, because this keychain knife is small. Here it is closed up against an air tag and a house key. Yep, its total length comes to just 1.6 inches long when it's fully closed. Essentially, it looks like Spyderco used one of their full-size knives like the paramilitary and just drastically sized down the proportions because it maintains a similar handle shape and it even comes with Spyderco's signature thumb hole that really just acts as a nail nick in this case due to its size. For the pint-sized slip joint bug mini, we have 1.3 inches of 3CR13 MOV for the blade with an overall 1.1 inches of cutting edge and brushed stainless steel for the handle scales. To close out, here's how it looks on a keychain. Honestly, we love the all stainless steel styling. It would maintain its discretion up against the roundup of stainless steel keys on your keychain, and the full metal build can really take a beating. Okay, we're back at it with another keychain knife from Gerber. I mean, hey, they do an excellent job in this arena and deserve the recognition. So our second pick from the Oregon-based gear supplier is the Keynote, our most versatile keychain knife pick. So this begs the question, why do we think it's one of the most versatile keychain knives out there? Honestly, it has more to do with the shape of the blade more than anything else. The Keynote uses a really stubby 1-inch Tonto blade, which is a great shape for a myriad of different applications, plus the straight edges make it one of the easiest shapes to sharpen. This blade uses both a nail nick and a starter tab for deployment, as well as brown aluminum scales on each side, and contrasting bright green hardware. Keeping the blade firmly in place is a fairly standard liner lock we thought felt surprisingly robust for the overall compact size of the Keynote itself. And rounding out its features are two methods you can use to secure the keynote onto your person. The first is what you'd find on most full-sized EDC pocket knives, a pocket clip. And the other, a simple o-ring to attach the keynote onto a keychain. Both will get the job done without a lot of fuss. Our next keychain knife is just a ton of fun no matter how you cut it. But its novelty and style-heavy leanings don't discount it for being well-constructed, because the Stack Gear Pocket Samurai is in fact exactly that. 
This fully blacked out slip joint edition of this EDC keychain knife is made with both high quality steel, 440C, and aircraft grade aluminum scales. For the current $15 price point, the Pocket Samurai is an excellent value for what you get. By the way, the Pocket Samurai uses a slip joint system as well, if you couldn't already tell, but there are larger versions available featuring a liner lock. Dimensionally, the knife is 2.7 inches closed and 4.7 inches when the 2 inch blade is fully deployed. The samurai shaped Tonto blade uses a black oxide for its coating and comes with a few blade engravings, one of which is Pocket Samurai in Japanese. The scales also come outfitted with a diamond shaped texture on both sides to supply just a touch of grip and visual interest, and they conveniently supply a loop at the end for securing the knife to a keychain. One of our only gripes here is that although the Pocket Samurai is clearly Japanese inspired, it is not Japanese made, which the Made in China text clearly lays out on the knife's packaging. Plus, when we attached this guy onto a ring of keys, the ring itself was too thick or the loop built into the end of the knife too small to allow the Pocket Samurai to move freely on the ring. We didn't test it out with a range of other rings to see which it was, but based on the size of the keychain knife's loop, we think you may have trouble with any ring, unfortunately. Our next keychain knife isn't intrinsically a keychain knife, rather a key organizer with a well-designed knife add-on. Quiet Carry Short G2 Key Organizer offers a 2-in-1 solution by wrangling 3-5 to five keys and offering a 1.7 inch steel blade in one compact package. This version of the Shorty G2 is fully blacked out by way of a PVD coating over the 6AL4V titanium scales, the AUS8 steel blade, and the 416 steel hardware. All in all, the Shorty is 2.35 inches in length and maintains a total weight of 1.6 ounces. Now, capacity is rated up to 5 keys, but we found it does better closer to 3, which Quiet Carry actually confirms is ideal. And while yes, the blade is the main focus for this guide, it also comes removable by using a few torque screws if you don't need it. Speaking of, installation of the keys is also just as simple as removing a few torques, seating the keys, and then reinstalling the front plate. And a loop at the end makes it possible to secure the Shorty G2 on a ring of keys or a keychain of your choice. The James brand offers up our next keychain knife in a typically well-designed, purest form. The 2.6 inch Elko offers up a 1.74 inch Sandvik 12C27 drop point blade with hollow machining acting as a nail nick for deployment, 6061 aluminum scales available in a variety of different colorways, and overall the Elko measures up at 4.33 inches in total length with the blade deployed. The James brand has a pension and reputation for building versatility into their creations despite their minimalism, and the Elko is really no different, with a pry bar, scraper, and bottle opener, a 3-in-1 tool, at the opposite end of the blade. This also acts as a piece of machining where you're able to attach the included full-size titanium keyring to keep the Elko holstered onto a keychain of your choice. Our last keychain knife comes from Wesson, an abbreviation for the four cardinal directions, and they offer up arguably the most premium keychain knife around with the microblade. And here's why. Wesson not only picked a premium steel option, D2, but a premium scale material as well, grade 5 titanium. It's this extremely solid combination of durability and weight savings that makes this one of the best keychain knives out there, point blank. The titanium allows the microblade to stay extremely lightweight for its size at just 1 ounce, and this knife is by no means the smallest on our list. But weight savings doesn't come with any utilitarian trade-offs. In other words, there's a large pocket clip, a thumb stud, and a flip tab available for use. What's more, you get one of the most reliable locks out there, a frame lock courtesy of the titanium scale. Ceramic bearings also make the deployment super satisfying. Dimensionally, the blade is 1 inch even with a closed length of 2.25 inches and an open length of 3.75 inches, and it feels as though it's just about the perfect size for a keychain unit. Any larger and it would probably become a nuisance, any smaller and its practical utility may have been sacrificed. It's apparent that Weston spent a lot of time behind the Microblade's R&D because it feels so dialed through and through. Plus, they offer up the Microblade in this option with raw titanium scales, but also provide a fully blacked out titanium version, as well as a few colorways that use G10 and titanium in combination. And the Weston Microblade brings us to the end of our guide of the best keychain knives. Thank you for sticking with us to the end, and as always, be sure to check out our editorial guide as well. Also, make sure to drop us a line with your favorite keychain knives, as we know there are many, many other great options out there to consider.